Pit beef belongs to a great American barbecue tradition that includes Santa Maria tri-tip and Texas shoulder clod. It originated in my hometown, Baltimore, where you find it at Camden Yards and more colorfully at the pit beef shacks nestled among the truck stops and gentlemen's clubs on Pulaski Highway. Today, I'm taking it uptown. No, this isn't top round, the tough but flavorful cut traditionally used for pit beef. It is a prime boneless rib roast. Tie it into a compact cylinder with butcher string or ask your butcher to do it. Now the rub. It starts with coarse sea salt, freshly ground black pepper, sweet paprika, garlic powder, onion powder, and oregano. Combine the ingredients in a bowl and mix with your fingers, breaking up any lumps in the paprika. Generously season the prime rib with the rub on all sides. Pat the spices into the meat. Your prime rib is ready for spit roasting. I'm cooking the prime rib on the rotisserie. I place the prong on the rotisserie spit. We'll insert the spit through the center and then attach the next prong and insert this prong in this side of the meat. Then tighten up the turn screws. Here's a little trick to tighten the turn screw. Use a fork for extra leverage. Give it a twist and you're in business. To cook the prime rib, I'm using a Kalamazoo hybrid fire grill. It burns gas, charcoal, and wood. So first, pull out the fuel tray and place a hardwood log over one outside burner, then the other outside burner. This will generate wood smoke to flavor the beef. Now slide the fuel drawer back in. Open the grill lid and grab your prime rib. Insert the pointy end in the socket and come back this way. Finally, place an aluminum foil drip pan under the beef. Turn on the rotisserie motor and close the lid to hold in the heat and smoke. Cooking time, about an hour and a half. You could use a bottled horseradish sauce, but that wouldn't be the Project Fire way. Instead, we'll make it from scratch. It starts with mayonnaise and freshly grated horseradish. The horseradish is a root. You peel off the end, and then we'll grate it into the mayonnaise. The finer you grate it, the hotter the horseradish will be. And here's some horseradish I grated earlier. Yeah, that's gonna be hot. Next, finely grated lemon zest, which adds a bright lemony flavor. Then cut the lemon in half and squeeze in some fresh lemon juice for acidity. Last of all, a little salt and a lot of freshly ground black pepper. Whisk these ingredients to mix. Then taste it for seasoning. Woo! Now that's what I call horseradish sauce. It's been an hour and a half. Let's check that prime rib. Woo! Beautiful. I'll just stop the motor and we're looking for a medium rare, that'd be about 135. 134.9, I'll take it. And here's your prime rib. You wanna pull off the prongs. Snip those strings. 
Then start slicing the prime rib. Oh, it is just perfect. Crusty on the outside, rare inside. Now build your pit beef sandwich. So take a bottom Kaiser roll, spread it with horseradish sauce, then place a few slices of the pit beef on top. Next, a slice of onion, tomato, shredded lettuce, and finally, the top bun on top. There's your pit beef sandwich. Let's see if it's how I remember it. Mm. That beef is so smoky, so succulent, with the nice crunch of the lettuce, the bite of the horseradish. This is truly one of America's great sandwiches. It's a real thrill to bring the barbecue of my hometown to Project Fire.